Okay, now in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the use cases for ChatGPT. Now I've got a bunch written down and I'm sure you have so many more in your head, but I'm going to go through an example of each one of these and show you some of the ways you can use ChatGPT today. All right, now in this video, we're going to go through a bunch of use cases for ChatGPT. So ways you can use ChatGPT today and the ways that it can make your life a lot easier. Now there are a bunch of ways you can use ChatGPT and we're gonna start off with research. Now, depending on what your job is or what you do in your day-to-day -day life, Research is something that you pretty much do a lot of the time. Now, whether that's searching Google or looking up YouTube videos and tutorials, research is something that ChatGPT has made a lot easier. Now, what we're gonna do is jump straight into ChatGPT and ask it a question. So I'm going to ask, what are some of the health benefits of drinking water and provide scientific facts to back this? And if I hit enter, I wait for the response and now it starts telling me a lot of facts about drinking water, explains the benefits and answers the question for me. Now, why would I use ChatGPT over a simple Google search? Quite simply, the fact that ChatGPT has the information from a bunch of different websites, a lot of different information, and simplifies it and summarizes it into this short paragraph. Now, of course, if you wanna go into more detail into a specific point, you can do just that. So as it's typing this out, I can have a look at one of these points and say, for example, point number five, it says flushing out toxins. Now I can ask ChatGPT to elaborate on that topic. So can you elaborate on the point and I give it the point and I just say, uh, wrong one, if I just grab flushing out toxins. And what it will do is it'll actually give you a response to that. Now this is the chat part of GPT. So GPT on its own was pretty much the language model that processed this information. But the fact that we've got chat GPT that's built on top of this intellectual mind, uh, obviously artificial intelligence, we're able to converse as though we're having a general conversation. So it comes back with an answer like this and pretty much does the research for me.